Hey, hey, Donna Price here, and I'm excited to talk with you for a few minutes about traffic and some traffic strategies. So um, hopefully you've downloaded the Becoming a Bizologist um, book. I will add the link at the end of the presentation, I think. Um, and in that we talk about five, eight profitability strategies and those profitability strategies um, it help you to increase your profits. And so the first one is um, traffic. And so we're going to talk about that today. And traffic looks different for different businesses, but there's also some overlap. So we're going to kind of talk about five different traffic strategies. I'm going to try and get all fancy here. Um, and switch between the whiteboard and the um, not whiteboard and the presentation. So we have traffic strategies for online mark for online businesses or um, online marketing, and then traffic strategies for offline businesses. A lot of what I'm going to talk about today overlaps both of those because even if you're an offline business you should have an online presence. And so you should have a website um, at least, and probably some social media and um, other assets online for an offline business. And if you're an online business, you certainly have some assets um, online. So let's look at some of the strategies and um, and then part of these strategies all go to the second um, profitability accelerator also is, is people raising their hand saying yes. So opting in. So traffic, the point of traffic, whether um, online or offline is so that you can capture the person's information in some way. And so when you're brainstorming for your own business, you wanna be thinking about if you're doing it offline, how do I get that person's information? If they're coming into your store, how do you get their information so that you can continue to market to them? Um, or if you're a service business, how are you continuing to market to them and getting that information as well? So hopefully you can see the presentation, just really straight black and white presentation today. Nothing fancy. Um, so, the first strategy is content and creating content. So whether you're an online business or an offline business, you should have content on your website or content on your social media. And I'm gonna give you a link at the end of the presentation or the conversation today, where you can get some more information about how to use content. But a blog is a really simple way of creating content and content on your website, new content on your website helps your website to rank better and helps Google to keep coming back and looking at your website. And um, that helps you with traffic. So uh, this, these are kind of organic traffic methods. And then soon in the future, we can talk about some paid traffic methods but this is more organic. Just You're just trying to get traffic kind of naturally coming to your site. So blogging is, is one way of doing that um, and posting articles or video on your site can also help um, people to come to your website and to take a look at what you have to say. And it also helps build your credibility, helps build your expertise and um, increases the traffic to your site. So part of that could look like, and I'm looking over here because my I have two screens. So it could take the form of an infographic or an ebook. Um, you want people to opt in to get those things. So you might have an infographic as part of an article. I'll do that sometimes. Um, but an ebook, I'm going to work to have the person opt in to get, receive the ebook. So opt into the email list so that we can send you the link to the ebook, but then we can, we've added you to somebody that's interested in the things that we're offering or talking about business growth strategies. Um, 
article syndication used to be a lot bigger um, strategy, um, but I still get a report of um, uh, one of the websites that I used to syndicate my articles on and um, about how many views I, I have on that. And I don't post new articles on that site, but probably should. One of the benefits that I found of article syndication, having my article out on article marketing websites was that I had an article picked up by um, a print publication and then published in that magazine. And um, so that was a great benefit to have it go even further. Second strategy. So we're looking at five strategies today. Second strategy is um, social networking, social media, getting social, whatever you want to call it. So you, you want to be out there. So LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and putting your um, information out on those platforms as well. So one of the things that we do at Compassers Consulting, we share articles to all those different platforms to bring people back to the article. So you can see a piece of the article um, out there. And then the goal is to get you to come to the website. So we're trying to drive traffic. We also do some social media posts that don't have any article. So it's just an image that we're posting or a video that we're posting. Um, so you, and, it, and we don't post just promotional. Mostly we're pro, um, pushing out content. Another strategy is guest blogging. So kind of similar to article syndication, it's going and um, blogging, putting an article on somebody else's website. Advantage of that is that then that person's promoting you and you should have like an author box or an author bio box that has your website link on it. And they're promoting your article on their site to their visitors and that can send people back to your website. And we've had, the reverse happened where we have guest bloggers on Compassers Consulting, and then they're promoting the article on our site, sending their visitors to say, hey, this site published our article. And um, so they're promoting traffic to our site. So guest blogging can work both ways. Um, and I think I just said all that. <laughs> you could also be commenting on blogs, and that's another way of building your expertise and um, people people seeing it. Um, but it's a great way to participate in the community and also to kind of build your credibility. Third, I think we're on the third method now, right? Video marketing. So video, another great strategy. And now with all of the reels and live, and there's just a lot of ways to do video. You could do it Zoom, Zoom recordings, post to a site, um, you can do Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Instagram, um, LinkedIn has video now. So, or you can take your video, upload it to YouTube, and then syndicate it out. Um, but you want to have links on your description back to your site. And you want to be using in all of these hashtags that help people find that content as well. And then webinars is kind of a part of video marketing where you can have a webinar that people are registering for and um, a great strategy for getting people to your site. And then the fourth strategy, are we on four? I'm losing track now, is joint ventures. So in the online marketing world, it's when you team up with other businesses or marketers and you're trading resources for mutual gain in the offline marketing world, it works just as well when we're partnering with somebody, maybe we're co-sponsoring an event, we're both promoting the event. Um, so you can joint venture, um, <coughs> excuse me, both online and offline. And it can be a great strategy um, for promoting each other. So you wanna look at joint venture partners carefully and pick joint venture partners that you respect and you are gonna feel good about um, promoting and sharing information about. So like I said at the beginning, this is short, intended to be short today. So um, invite you to take a look at our content repurposing 
And actually the, the link, that link is not totally correct. It is um, compassrisconsulting.com backslash content dash repurposing. And that's a free report on how to take one piece of content and use it in multiple ways across, um, across the internet. And um, I'm gonna uh, see if I can show that to you now on the other screen, moving all around. There, I popped out of it, so that's good. So um, most of the things on um, Compassers Consulting right now, you're signing up for or you're um, registering for a course. So this is our content repurposing um, guide and it's um, compassersconsulting.com backslash content repurposing. But it takes most of these strategies that we've talked about and talks about how you can use one piece of content in multiple ways. And that kind of furthers your reach so that you can um, use one piece of content over and over again. But content, um, joint ventures, social media, all great strategies for um, increasing traffic to your site. And then we're gonna also video marketing and guest blogging. Those were, those were the other two I was blanking on there. Um, we're also going to start talking about paid traffic as another strategy, more complicated in ways, more predictable in ways. Um, but you want to make sure that you have your system set up for paid um, traffic to work well so that you're not just throwing money in an internet hole that is huge and spending a lot of money without getting a lot of return on that investment. So thanks for taking a look at the video today and look forward to getting together and talking about paid traffic in the future and what you think of the content repurposing um, report if you haven't gotten it yet and also get a copy of the bizologists where you, you can see right on the website over to the right i know i stopped the share already but it just says download your copy becoming a bizologist just click that link and it'll take you right over so you can also get that and that goes through the eight profitability accelerators. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Have a great day. I'm headed out for a bike ride. 62 out there. All right. Take care.